Eric who? Gates. Eric who? Gates. Who's Eric Gates? Oh, the bloke who used to go up the stockyard. Good evening, everybody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we probably need to start again. If, if you're watching this on video on demand, it's just been demonstrated <laughs> to the world that I know nothing whatever about football. Apparently, Paolo of Canio or something. De Canio. Aye. Apparently, he's the manager of Sunderland, which is just up the road from here, but I had no idea. And apparently, Eric Gates has got something to do with football as well. But we'll talk about that later, shall we? Uh, yes. Yes. Because yes, right. I, I, yeah. I might have probably demanlified <laughs> myself in front of the world. But I, I make no bones about it. I know nothing about football. But I'm surrounded by people that do here tonight. And we'll go, we'll go from your left over there. In, in that order, we will start with the effervescent loveliness, the uh, the bounteous beauty liciousness that is the one and only Sav, who is shaking with laughter for some reason. Good evening, Sav. How are you? Good evening, dear. I'm fine. I got you just while your glasses were pushed up on your forehead and you were wiping your nose. I was wiping my eyes, not my nose. Oh, right. Well, in which case, your eyes are in a funny place. <laughs> <laughs> she's, built, she's built like me. Our family's our, quite a family, our family. Uh, I'm built upside down. My feet smell and my nose runs. Oh, next, oh, <laughs> next, <laughs> next, next to Sav in the mini dog house, uh, we have we have the mod master himself. Who who is going to get a little bit of little bit of video all to himself later on? We have the mod master himself, Mark Jones. How are you, Mark? How are you diddling cock? And did you know who the Sunderland manager was? Um, I thought it was a mayor, not a manager. I thought it was a what? A mayor. Someone had a mayor, haven't they? A mayor. <laughs> he knows as much about football as I do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly right. God. So how are you doing tonight? I'm doing okay. Good, good. That's what we like to hear. And then, and then, and then, in, in the doghouse, in the big one, the cat house. What are we calling it? Cat house. You can tell this is thrown together, by the way. Um, <laughs> seamless. It's professional tell you it's best, isn't it, Keith? Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. In, in the cat house tonight, we have Dave M, one of the three Daves, the real Daves, on VaporTrails.tv, and, and the newest Dave to join us. How are you doing, Dave? All right, Ned? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. Is the move all completely moved and done and finished? Yeah, completely finished now. Everything's all sorted out, so it's all good. Everything unpacked? Pretty much. There's, there's no, still a couple of bags lying around that we just shoved in the corner, you know how it is. There's no cardboard boxes in the garage with things that you didn't realise you had. No, the garage is going to be the man cave, so that's completely clear. <laughs> oh, man cave. We like man cave. And then the final camera goes to the star of the show, almost, you, isn't it? Is, what? Is, is no, it's not me. It's you, Keith. <laughs> and we've got Keith in with us tonight for the first first time you've done VT Talk. On the wrong night. The yes, wrong Wednesday night. Wednesday instead of Thursday. So, uh, so I any... thought all day it was Thursday. You have? Yes. It's a different kind of show we do tonight. Yeah, well, you see, I'm completely in the dark, but well, I'm here. What we're going to do is the Here's Hour does VT TV. Right. It's a bit like 8 out of 10 cats does Countdown, only... <laughs> it's, 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 that's that's kind of where it's going to be, because there's all kinds of stuff that we actually do need to cover tonight. Um, and, and we might as well go right in with it. We'll go to the only camera I didn't go to, and that would be camera four. And look what's on camera four. It's a vipe. Right. Yes. You look perplexed, Keith. I do, yes. Vipe is the latest e-cig onto the market. It actually came out yesterday and it's been produced by British American Tobacco. Now, let me put the record straight on this from the very, very get-go. Firstly, it does not have a marketing authorization. It is not going to get a marketing authorization voluntarily. They have no uh, intention of making the vape a medicinal e-cig. That is not what it's about. Yes, it's come from the IntelliSig stable, although more of that later, um, but it's not a marketing authorization type thing. It's not meant to play into that in any way, shape or form. I wanted to make that clear from the outset because a fair few people I've seen on Twitter have been saying, but it's MHRA approved. It isn't. It's quite the opposite. It's particularly unapproved by the MHRA because they don't like it. Um, they don't like any e-cigs, as a matter of course. There we go. Oh, look, look, Sab's eyes. They're already jumping around. 
like something not right. Have chat got chat got something to say, Sav? Uh, not a lot that I can read out, but oh put it this way: God. chat are not impressed with the vape. How many of them have them? I'm not sure. Well, here's what we're going to do. Each of shall we all show them? Everybody get one that's got one. Dave, you've got the you've got the mental one, haven't you? Yeah, I've got the mental one. Have you used that one at all today? I have. Yeah. How many? Got, how many drags? Um, I don't know how many drags exactly it went through, but it lasted just under two hours. Okay. Have you got a clean one, a new one? I have. Yes. Right. Yeah. And crack, that's all I'm going to use tonight. Right. Crack it out and use it. Uh, yeah. Mark, you've got one as well, haven't you? I certainly have. I have the blue one. You have the blue one. So the blue one is the. It's the regular. Right. And mine is a, is, a, is the red one, which is the bold, which is 45 milligram. And that's what I'm going to give to you, Keith. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use these. There you go, unused. We are just going to use these during the course, whoops, of the show. He said, getting cameras all wrong. There you go. Uh, so we've, we've got one of each. And these are from the ET. Now, I got mine out. I got five of them. I got one out at half past nine <coughs> when uh, my driver arrived in, turned up to deliver it, bang on time as per usual with DPD. So I got one out and I gave it a blast. And by 11.30, dead. So two hours, the same as yours, Dave. But yeah. what, I mean, you're, you're the one was mental, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What did you make of it in the two hours that it was working? Well, I thought um, vapour production-wise, it's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I didn't get any throat hit from it, and I'm not getting it. Same with this one. And flavour-wise, the there's a hint of mint in there, but it's nothing much. It's it, it's kind of muted. Right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm not impressed in that respect, and also the fact the battery doesn't last long at all. Not happy with that at all. No, the battery uh, battery life is 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 far from good. Two hours. I mean, I didn't I didn't know whether it was me being greedy and profligate or whether that was the way it was going to be. But I was watching uh, Matt Gluggles had done a review earlier on. He reckoned he managed to get half an hour out of one. God, that's not very good. Mark, uh, how have you found the one you've got? I've only used it a very little bit so far because I was wanting to save it for tonight. Mm -hmm. I've only got the one. But I have to agree, I'm not really getting any sort of throat hit from it or flavour. But Which is, vapor is, production is great. Yes, <laughs> that, yes, exactly. Now, Keith, you haven't seen these before. No. So what do you make of it? Vapour production, good. Vapour production, super. Um, but flavour-wise, I haven't... It, it, it's just flat, nothing. You're not getting... Got a sort of sour taste to it. Okay. Mark, what, what, how would you characterise the flavour out of yours? Um, I'm not really getting flavour at all. I can't taste anything. Insipid's the word. It, it's... Insipid. I tell you what I get, um, and I've, I've noticed this before uh, with Eco Pure. If you really get it on the pipe and it starts getting a little bit of heat to it, it reminds me of Frankfurters. Does anybody else get that? Hot dogs? No? No, I haven't got that. Just me then. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it is absolutely kicking it out. Um, now, mm. somebody earlier on today said the packaging reminded them of, I can say the word Durex, can't I? Condoms. I All right. Um, <laughs> but being a 58-year-old bloke, having been happily married for all that length of time, I have got no idea what that kind of packaging looks like. But Mr. Malik, you're young. You, <laughs> you'll know these things. Do, do they remind you of the condom packet in any way, shape or form? <laughs> Not in the slightest, no. <laughs> okay, I just thought I would ask. It just seemed reasonable to ask. Um, I'll tell you what I do want to know, though, all right? And we'll start with uh, with you, Mark. What yeah. market do you think these are actually aimed at? Because I I'm, think I'm safe in saying that they're not aimed at us. 
definitely not aimed at us. Um, I'd say they're going for the quit market rather than anything else. You do? Yeah. And actually even more so probably the recreational market for use in like nightclubs, bars, things like that. Yeah, I, I was. I was. Gonna, I I think, given the uh, the proliferation of the e shisha in nightclubs, where do you know the kind of music you absolutely hate, Keith? Yes, that's all they play. <laughs> Don't go, you won't like it. Um, but in the doof doof clubs, e uh, shisha, the shisha pens, this kind of thing, they're very very popular, and they're charging thirteen quid a, a chuck for one of these. So have you mentioned yet? Uh, did I miss it? How much these are? Six ninety nine in onesies. Thirty Each. quid for five. Yes. What? Yes. Six ninety nine in onesies. Right. Interesting. Same price, actually, as the um, Enjoy King. Which is an interesting thing. Now. I'll, I'll come on to this in a little bit when we've talked about the market. Dave, you were young. You go to doof doof clubs and stuff like that, don't you? Not anymore, I don't. Really? <laughs> oh, you disappoint me. What what market do you think they're, look, they're looking at? I agree with that. I think it's the people who are going out on a night out in the town. Um, they've got some money in their pocket and they can afford to spend £7 on something like this. Yeah, I would go with that. Yeah. The recreational market. Yeah, the, the doof yeah. doof recreational market. Yeah. yeah, where instead of paying thirteen quid for something with no nicotine, and you can go and get one of these. It's got uh, swimming. Or even somebody who's gonna, you know, going out on the binge in a pub, and doesn't want to keep going outside. I think they've picked the wrong time to launch it. If that's the case, for the simple reason that it's nice weather. Why wouldn't you want to go outside? Well, irrespective of weather. Yes. You know. I mean, it is nice weather, except what if you're going out for a drink tonight and it's bucketing down. Well, exactly right. I wouldn't want to be going outside. I will say something, though, that I've noticed with this, and I know Sav's seen me trying to talk while I'm exhaling with a normal e-cig, the kind of stuff I normally use, and I can never manage it, but I can with this, which kind of says it's not hitting the back of the throat particularly hard. Sav, come yes. on. They've got to be saying something. What? Oh, they're saying a lot. Good. Pick round it. I will. We've got Charlie's VPS who said he'll be angry to the day he dies if innovators at the heart of a cig revolution are pushed aside by the MHRA. But the vape could pull a lot of new vapors away from cigarettes. Mm. Let's, let's, Collins, can we take these one at a time? If you've got four hours to go, yeah, we can take them one at a time. But... <laughs> Well, let, let's 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 just take that one because yeah. my feeling is that these will actually appeal to current smokers. I think, um, and I'm dredging back in time here. When I was smoking cigarettes, I didn't really taste them. Right. I don't know whether you <clears throat> found the same thing. I mean, when I've used this type of thing before, mm. you know, you're sort of dragging away at it. You're mm -hmm. getting no vapor very little satisfaction with this yeah you, you can picture somebody who who smokes taking one of these to the pub or, or it, whatever i tell you what old habits die hard i don't know about uh dave and mark but i found it very easy just to pick it up and start using it like i used to use a fag um, completely agree i was about to say that as soon as i picked it up for the first time this afternoon it felt like I, I'd gone back in time a year when I was smoking, and I was just yeah. it, just holding it naturally. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Well, as you can see, um, I've immediately gone back to the way I would normally hold a cigarette. Yes. It's just just as if I was using a cigarette. Mm. It, that that's exactly the thing. I think from from the point of view of somebody that's, I mean, I'm doing it now. Look, talking and, and exhaling, yes. and I'd never ever do that. I yes. only ever used to do it with fags. I've never been able to do it with an e-cig. This thing is just like going back in time. And I think from that point of view, if um, if the marketing's done right, uh, they're going to move a hell of a lot of these for people just to go and try. But let's carry on, Sav. Back to you. Back to me. Um, Peter Collins has said, wouldn't buy one on principle even if they were brilliant. 
Leanna Lawless says, almost got one, decided it was too expensive. To which FMRL asked how much, but we've already covered that. Leanna also says the box is not environmentally friendly. Um, if I if I might if I might just take that one, uh, yeah. I've got a number of boxes here that are not environmentally friendly. That uh, most of the IT stuff comes in. It, it's not just that. I mean, look at the boxes that we used to get the four hundred ones in and, and and all that kind of thing. Seriously, a lot, an awful lot of plastic and stuff kicking about. I'm. But I will say that you can buy um, the Vipes in, in the cardboard boxes, which are about as environmentally friendly as any other cardboard box, I suppose, and just keep your clicky, your clicky box lid. So, but back to you, Sav. Right, back to me again. Um, yeah, Funny Trickster says, I think they're reassociating you with cigarettes. I could see how Dave held it in between his fingers. Yes. Uh, again, Disco Des was talking about the environmentally friendly aspect, saying it's a throwaway item and not for environmentally friendly. Safer Six is asked, do they have a high VG base? It's um, going by my experience of Eco Pure, it, it is exactly Eco Pure, uh, which means that it's. Take the nick out of it because obviously you've got 45 and 30 and 15 milligram available in normal Eco Pure. It's around about well, it's around about 75%, what we would call aqueous VG. Uh, so there's a little bit of water in there, but it is, I mean, it's producing vapour that's thick as a bull's mm. lug. Um, and that's all there is in it. And, and it, it, it tastes exactly exactly right for eco pure, so it's extremely high VG. I think it's safe to say that Mr. Sutton would have an issue with it. And yes. if anybody's not aware of the issues Mr. Sutton has, VG makes him poop a lot very quickly. It's handy for him, but if he gets constipated, he vapes VG. Oh, right. Medicinal. Mm. Well, it's, it's, it's what we're looking at. <laughs> yeah. It has the same effect on him that menthol has on me. It causes gastric things to flow quicker. Anything no, more, sir? it's just oh, like sorry. smoking a cigarette. What? Just like it is. It's exactly like smoking a cigarette, and I'm not awfully sure... I like that, but then it, I don't think it's aimed at me. It's not aimed at somebody. An improvement in flavour would help. I quite like Eco Pure, so mm. that's it's down to personal taste, isn't it? But yeah. Dave, Dave, you've got the menthol one, so let's. Yeah. let's I mean, is it as insipid as it seems? Yeah, it's there's barely any flavour to it at all. Uh, like I said earlier, there's a hint of menthol coming through, but it's not like any other menthol I've had before. Fair enough. Do you like smoking menthol, Dave? I do occasionally, yeah. Right. I don't mind it every now and then. It's not something that I'll have all the time. Right. But every now and then I like a blast of menthol and then I'll go on to a different flavour. I think um, I'm probably in the minority that I'm, I'm just not a flavour hound. I mean, I don't change juices around very much at all, and I, I do find the heavily flavoured juices. I get sick of them very quickly, you know. Yeah. That's, so that that kind of stuff doesn't bother me at all, and I, I I seriously can see if that had been the one that came through the door when with the, the first one I got, and the battery size was the same on those zero eighty fours, and I got about two hours out of a the battery then before I needed to recharge it. If, the, if it had been as good as that, I might not have moved off it had it been rechargeable. Because in terms of what it's doing while it's working, it's absolutely cracking. Yeah. I cannot, I cannot knock it. So I've, I, I see there's, I'm, I'm seeing typing as well. <laughs> Come on. It's a busy night for you tonight, I'm afraid. It's going to be a very busy night. Um, Doug Phillips has asked, does anybody else think it looks odd seeing people using a cigar like? <laughs> it looks bloody strange in here. I'm, I can tell you that for nothing. I mean, I'm sitting here <coughs> looking at Mark, and Mark's just picking it up and using it. Kate's picking it up and using it, and it's just like, I don't know, it's like being down the pub again. It, it, is. it it's, is. It's like it used to be years and years. I mean, look, how often do you see that going on? It's just, seriously, <coughs> I, um, I mean, previous ones of these going back. A couple of years, you needed a pull to some the back of your neck mm. to get any vapour out of it. Mm. And this is just the opposite to that. It's like sucking on a tab that doesn't gun out. That's right. Is exactly what it's like. Um, 
But we'll see whether any of us manage to kill these things during the course of the show. That would be interesting to see if it happens. Um, and we've just hit time for adverts, but what I'm going to do is play a trailer in before the adverts, because there's all kinds coming up. Um, as you may well know, Mr. Dibley's been getting some new kit, and he's been playing, hasn't he, Sav? Oh, she's frozzed out. She's coming back. Are you there, Sav? Sav? Oh, dear. Right, we'll... Uh, We'll play this trailer in from Mr. Dibley, who's been uh, enjoying himself, and then we'll go into the adverts and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. in Yorkshire for your basic needs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-elixir.co.uk. iVeber and iVeber-elixir.co.uk are proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv. And we are back in the room here on uh, Wednesday night. It's the 31st of July or the day before I go on holiday, either way. Um, Sav, you dropped out. I did. Yes, it all went to hell in a handcart. But I, I want to I wanna hear what chat's saying tonight because I know the, there's a lot of them are not going to be happy bunnies. Do tell. Oh, they're not happy at all. Right, I've just got to find where I was because everything closed down. Right, Disco Dares first of all wants to know what colour LED? It's red. It's, look, let me, let me say straight away, I do not like that it looks like a tab. I really don't. Let me no. go to camera four. Um, I really, really do not like that it looks so much like a fag, and it does. It looks exactly like a fag. And to be honest, if you've been watching the, 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 the four of us using these things, you'd be forgiven for thinking we were smoking a tab. I just do not like that. While I've got close up your cam on, though, 
let me show you what's inside of these things. Now, there are two that look extremely similar. This one here that I'm fiddling with now, this is the Vipe. This one is an Enjoy King. And you will see the similarities are great until you get to the top end. And you'll see in mega close up here that the connections are crimped. You can see how the coil's connected. You can see that everything's done. Actually, it's quite well made. If I bring the Enjoy King into, you'll see that the solder there um, and that it's just cut in. The, the, the build quality is not quite as good. You'll also see that they both have identical batteries. And if I turned it up the right way, you'd be able to see even better the size. And it is a 6838D. 68 680D, which means it's 6.8 millimeters by 38 millimeters long, 3.7 volts, and has a capacity of 0.33 watt hours. Exactly the same as, get it the right way up, exactly the same as the Enjoy King, 68380 and 0.33 watt hours. They're an identical battery. Um, let's go back uh, to the main camera. Now, the fact of the matter is, in a battery that size, and they've made it that size, so that the damn thing is the size of a king size cigarette, you're never going to get decent performance out of it. Absolute, absolute fact. It's never going to perform for any decent length of time. But then a 084 didn't, and in fact the first 901s didn't either, did they, Sav? No. No. What else has chat got? Right. I'll see if I can rattle through some of this. Go on. Uh, Peter Collins says it's aimed at the keep smoking market. Gary Dibley says, I can see them behind bars and clubs. Um, the Analolis said, agree, the SIG market get folks back to smoking fast. Adam Auger has said they are deliberately pricing them high to make the e-cig market look bad. The Scott has said it's for those that don't know any better. Mm -hmm. Very boring. It's only designed to hit the wallet, not the throat. Paraflock has said maybe this is the first true gateway product since it will pull people from regular cigarettes only to move them on to something better. I would, I'm, I'm, if I can dive yep. in there. Look, <clears throat> seriously and honestly, I think these would appeal to smokers whereas and we've heard it so often from a great many people um we've heard it said i'm not gonna use something that looks like a sonic screwdriver where do you think i am doctor who but you give them something like this that it, it's not that far away from the weight mm. the it feel the look yes. the whole way it works yes. it drags exactly like a singing anybody are we all agreed on yes, that definitely Dave? definitely yeah, Mark? absolutely agreed. Mark, I mean, you know, I don't know how long it is since you've had a fag, but... It's well, three years, near enough. Uh, it's incredibly close to the size, the feel, even the weight. Mm. It isn't that far away. It's just... That's the thing. Dave, you were going to say? Yeah, I was just going to completely agree. It does. It's, it is the best cigar like that I've tried by far. Um, it feels it's so light. It just feels like a normal cigarette. Exactly, and that that I think, from the point of view of getting people off fags and at least trying e-cigs, I think that's a good thing. I, I honestly do. Um, I hate that it looks like a fag, but I understand why it does. And when you think about all of the lucky lighty sellers, they tell us that they sell more brown and white than they do black with a blue LED. So. The, the proof's out there, really, if they sell more of those when they've got all the different colours available. And I've heard this from a few vendors. Then, obviously, folks that are looking to make a switch or are looking to try them, even as a proof of concept, still want something that looks like a fag. And I've heard a lot of people say, you look stupid. If it doesn't look like a fag, you look stupid. And, and we've all heard it. So what do you think about price, then, in that context? Well, I think the price is ridiculous, frankly. I think £7 way too much. These ought to be priced more at the at the £1, the £1.50. I would be quite happy if they came blister-packed, frankly. I'm not really bothered. You know, bothered. the reaction from the smoker's going to be, well, I can get 20 fags for the price of that. Exactly right. And it's we know yeah. it's not going to last that. But, Mark, here's where we come into it. You have the uh, the Poundland Pound Fag, haven't you? I certainly oh. have. Uh, 
that's how they come. In yeah, just in a, a simple blister pack, uh, they claim the equivalent of ten cigarettes. And throat hit wise, I get about the same as I get out of this. Really? And flavor wise, for the tobacco is about the same. There's not really any flavor to it. What about um, drag strength and, and vapor and such? Have you got one yeah. on the go? I've got a menthol one here, uh, which tastes to me more like Blackpool Rock than menthol. Oh, minty then. <laughs> yeah. It's, str it's a fairly strong flavour, but it's not bad. Oh, end lights up red and goes out again. Yeah, the draw on this is a lot stiffer. It's got a liquid tank in it, uh, which you can see when you take the top off. Mm -hmm. Uh, dripping down onto a, what looks like a ceramic cup coil. But the, the vapor production doesn't seem as good, am I right? Yeah, it's really a lot less vapor. Yeah. Mm. It's nowhere near what you'd get out of this one. Uh, it's also bigger. It's, it's about half as thick again and a lot heavier. Right. It so seems it, to be lasting. Are we are we uh, are we thinking that it's kind of standard jumbo cigar like? Pretty much, yeah. Right. How how much have you been using that during the course of today? I mean, can you give us some idea of length of time it will work? Have you you know have you been using it in exclusivity? I haven't been using it exclusively because I can't I can't get away with it to be honest. Okay. It can doesn't I just satisfy you. Yes, of course you can't yep. solve. Um, Mark Shaw's also been using or has used the Poundland one and he said he got 77 puffs from it before it died but to be fair it was, good as, it was as good as any other disposable that he's tried. Right, so let, let's, let's get that right again. So that's 77 drags yep. for a pound. For a pound. And we're looking at a claimed 130 drags for seven pound. But Mark's saying it's as good as any other cigar like he's tried. Yeah. Okay. I'd pretty much agree with that. It's it's certainly no worse than any of the others. Um, apart from it's a bit stiff for me, to be honest. Yeah, you don't if like it. If the draw was looser, it would be better. Yeah, you don't like a tight draw, do you? Not too tight, no. No. Um, so and it just to add a bit more to that, Mark Shaw said he's tried an Elite and a Nicolate are the other two that he's tried. Okay. Well, that, again, that's interesting because I've tried both the Elites and the Nicolites. The Nicolites I was mostly underwhelmed by. It was one of their cheaper ones. It was five quid and was purportedly 20 fags. And it was about as close to 20 fags as I am to 12 stone, only in the wrong direction. <laughs> um, yeah, not a hope in hell. I would have reckoned. I got about two hours out of it, actually, the Nicolites. And the A-Lights, we did the puff test on that, didn't we? Yeah. And I think it was claimed 440. Something like that, And yeah. I think I got about 120. Yep. And I've never managed to get more than, just using an, an A-Lights by its Todd, I've never managed to get more than three hours. And the batteries on those are huge in comparison to these. They're twice the size of these. You see, that Poundland one sounds from what Mark said like some of the, the very earlier ones mm. yes it's but it's, is it an all in one Mark yes it is uh, it's a single piece uh, it's a metal tube all the way down from what I can tell right which is a sticker on the outside and it, it just it's just not performing particularly brilliantly but we're hearing no worse than Nicolites or Alites would you, yeah. you would you characterise that the same yeah, I think it's around about the same, yeah. And it's it has lasted, I mean, I've been using it on and off. Uh, I'd say I'd have at least the equivalent of five cigarettes out of it so far. Well, I've got, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a big uh, Siggy equivalent guy. I, I, I think it's a bit, um, I think it's a bit misleading. Uh, I know, I remember going back at Donkey's age where I had uh, Sav's mom, Chris, Kat, was on and she lit up a fag and she counted the drags and didn't we get 16? Oh, I can't remember. It was either 12 or 16, something like that. It was somewhere around there. So, I mean, even then, 
I'm, I'm pleased to see that they don't say this is equivalent to any number of fags. Yeah. I mean, it's a pound compared with seven pounds. Well, that's the point. Yeah. That's the point. For seven pounds, you could go to um, Poundland or Discount UK if, if there's one close. And the nearest one to us is on Westington Way, by the way, if you want to go there tomorrow. Nice. Just thought I'd mention it. Oh. Um, but you could buy seven of those. And Mark, if... if if you're getting, well, actually, if you bought seven of those and you reckon you've had about five fags worth out of it, Mark? So far, yeah. It doesn't seem to be flagging yet. So you're talking 35 fags for seven yeah. quid? We're in the right ballpark there, aren't we, price-wise? Yeah. I know seven would definitely last me a day if I could stick with it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, I've got to say that on... on current experience of the vape I would need at least five a day you're talking 30 quid a BAT if you're watching and I really hope you are I actually when it's working I like it when it's working I like it, it just doesn't work for long enough it really doesn't I can see that it could entice an awful lot of people away from the dark side and into the light that is easy but not at that price <coughs> You'd, you'd have to be seriously loaded to be able to part with that amount of money. For, yeah. for uh, It's too expensive. And I, and I said exactly the same about the Enjoy King. It's too expensive. And as you can see, they're not a kick of the backside apart. Um, it, it looks as though the Vipe is a, an update on what the Enjoy King's built out of. Um, but it, certainly they seem to work very similarly. And I see Sav's concentrating again. That means she's working you, out what you wonder what the cost to make. I mean, I know there's marketing and all the rest of it, but uh, you know, you wonder what the profit margins are on these. Better than on fags. Well, yes. They're going to be better than on fags. I mean, let's face it. Profit it, margins are poor on fags. Well, you would think so, and yet they make billions out of them. I mean, the, actually, the government no, I makes... Re, I mean, retailer profits. Oh, retailer makes next to nothing. The government makes yeah, all the money yeah. out of fags. The government's making yeah. bugger all out of these. Yeah. So in that respect, good thing. Keep the money yeah, away from the yes. government. Absolutely. Sav, so we'll come back to you, my love. Good, because I've got loads and loads and loads. Go for it. Pause right. your breath now and then, if you can. <laughs> I'll try. Charlie's vape best had said he was gagging for a vape and if that's all he could get regarding the vape, give him one. FMRL brought up the Poundland one. Um, Disco Des Wilkinson says, what's the weight like compared to a normal cigarette? Um, it's been a, a donkey's age, but Kate, you've handled one more recently than I have. How would you? Only marginally heavier. Yeah. It, 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 it's hard to make a distinction. I'll tell you where you notice it most is that this doesn't get lighter and it doesn't get shorter. I've yet to do the, yes. the two fingers to get the last two drags yes. out of it. You know what I mean? Um, that, that's, that's the... But I mean, at, at the start, at that length, it's, it's, there's not much in it, is there? No. Not no. much in it at all. Go on then, Sav. Right, um, Srudian C said, it's kind of wigging me out to see all those cigar legs hanging out of people's mouths. Um, Mitch Dodson <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, honestly, it is. It's like, it's like being in a, a gentleman's club in here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can just sit and chew the fat with your fag in the corner of your mouth, and it, it, it's, it's like going back to the old days. You're not whether looking that, for buttons or anything? No. Or? No, not hunting for buttons, stick it in your gob and suck it. I've used that phrase many, many times. Sav, back to you. Why did yeah. that remind me of Sav? Never mind. <laughs> Mitch Dog has said, I think it'll appeal to smokers, but if they find they don't really satisfy them, will they return to cigarettes or investigate vaping more? Well, now, here's, here's the thing. <coughs> now, I reckon, if, if we look at, it, look at it logically, right, most smokers have got the taste buds of a sloth. You can't taste anything. And I'm not being unkind, I was there, I was one. So I know. And I think they could go to something like this, and all right, for us, the flavour's not there. But for somebody that's just got, got gone through a pack of Marley's or a pack of Benson and Hedgehogs or whatever, and then pick one of these up, I think they'd get away with it. I think they'd be disappointed two hours down the line, but I'd think they'd think, hang on a minute, 
I saw somebody with what looked like a sonic screwdriver. I wonder if that, that'll probably last longer. I'll find out more. I can see it working for that. Back to you, Sav. Right, Sam and Rose said, smokers tend to dislike the chemical taste of most cigarettes, rather than tasting like a real tab, which it really can't. Uh, Vape and Daz has said, whilst I would not use the vape because of the setups that I use, I can see the vaping is near resemblance to cigarettes and therefore being the most appealing cigarette to existing smokers to date. Mm -hmm. The mental has said, good thing about mods for us, that they don't imitate the hand to mouth action like these. The less that imitate that, the more we are free from smoking related habits. I can see the place for these and definitely agree that they will be an appeal to current smokers. Mm -hmm. and C has said, would relapse not be easier with one of those? Let, can I pick up on that one? Because yep. I want to go around the panel on that and I'm going to start with you, Dave. Do you reckon re relapse would be easier if you were using just these? Yeah. Why? 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 Say why. I can't. Uh, I can't explain why. I just. Uh, can you come back to me on that one while I think about I it? I can. Uh, Mark, let's come to you. Um, I don't think it would really. Um, no more than any than for any of them. If I couldn't get them, then I might go back. If I could find a cheaper way to smoke, I might go back. I suppose. Well, let let me. I'm going to share a little story. As I say, half past nine this morning, Ian, my DPD driver, arrived according to the email. He's very good. Little red shirt on, dingly dongly on the door, knock, knock. Why did they ring the bell and knock as well? I've often wondered that. It just doesn't make any sense, does it? Anyway, drops it off, get it out, start it up, half past nine, half past eleven, it's packing in. And I'm sitting there thinking, I've got five, only need two for tonight. I really fancy another one. I was enjoying it. And it was ju I was just using it like a fag, and I was enjoying it. And I thought, oh, I should get another one out. <clears throat> and it, it, it occurred to both me and Jill, and I was talking to your mum at the time, when I said I could, I could, I could very easily spark a fag up after I'd used one of these, without thinking. Because all of the old habits are back. All of the old habits, the, the way that you yeah. hold it. I mean, even <clears throat> sticking it behind your lug for Ron, Later on, I, do, I don't see it like that. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I started off by saying marvelous vapor production, but the taste's a bit insipid. But I mean, the more I've sat here tonight using it, it just feels like I'm smoking a cigarette. That's the point, yeah. That's so, but, but that doesn't well, necessarily the... follow. You know, again, it's price, isn't it? Yes. That, that, that you go back to cigarettes. Yeah, some might. It would. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that I would. I would go back. What I'm saying is, I, we're diddling off to Lanzarote, right? And if we're out and about, and I've been carrying just these, if these are yes. all I'd been using, and we were out and about, and I didn't have a spare one, and it ran out, it would be dead easy for me to just go and buy a packet of fags. And it would cost us a quid, two quid, something like that. It would be dead easy because it just wouldn't feel any different. Pack of the fags and a, and a, and a, and a cheap bit lighter. Yeah, but, it, you know, uh, perhaps quoting yourself is a bad example. You would have a spare. Well, yes, I would. Um, but if and, I didn't, and, I... you know, anybody that took to these, price accepted, would also have a spare. One would hope so. Dave, your take? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Is that because it feels like a cigarette? It feels like going back in time, and if it, you know, if you haven't got the money there, then and you you run out, the battery dies on you. The first thing you're going to do is go down the shops and buy a pack of yeah. fags. I think. Yes, yeah, I, I well, think, yes. I, I think that's the thing. If you got if you got caught short, you would, um, and you would need. I think you, it's a recruitment device into e cigs, isn't it? It's a recruitment device into proper yeah. e-cigs. I think that's the way to look at it. And we need to take a short break, so we'll go with another one of Mr. Dibley's trailers. Now, I've recorded something for Gary, and he's going to be playing it in. Sav, gird up your loins, because when we come back, you need a drink out of a glass, not a bottle, or your mum will have you. I don't. Uh, we'll take the second ad break, and we'll be back in a couple of ticks. <laughs>
And we are back in the room here on VT Talk on Wednesday the 31st of July, where I am joined by Sav, by Mark, by Dave and by Keith. And uh, this is the last show before I go away on holiday, so it's, it's kind of a little bit more relaxed than VT Talk usually is. Sav, <coughs> you know I'm coming to you because I yeah. know chat's been busy. Go for it. Right, I've got two questions that have been repeatedly asked over and over again, so I'll cover them first. Lorien uh, Cerulean C wants to know, do they have squishy tips? And I said tips. Squishy tips. I'm, yes. ple I'm pleased you enunciated that correctly, my dear. <laughs> yes, they are, they are they're not quite as squishy as a loosely packed tab, as it were, but you can definitely hold them between the teeth and squash them up and down the way you would. The major difference is they don't take the teeth marks in the way a fag does, but it is actually very comfortable, isn't it? Yes. All agreed? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All in favour say aye. 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 There you go. Next one, Sav. Next one, uh, Alan Fletcher has said, please ask about the battery disposal problem. Do they go into a special battery collecting container or what? All um, disposable e-cigs ought to go into a wee e e e e e e e e whatever it is, certified. <laughs> Thank you. They, they should all go into um, certified containers for batteries. Even 18650s that are no longer uh, usable, any any lithium-ion batteries, they should all go to a, a, a wee certified disposal box. And they're in the likes of Boots and Jessops and, and, and places like that. So, yeah, that's, that's what you should do. You shouldn't flush them down the toilet. Ever. You only do that with goldfish. Back to you, Sav. Right. Um, <laughs> funny trickster has said, the cigarettes are okay to lead you on to bed egg. Yeah, I started on them, but they were not good for me. Mm -hmm. e Zoo says, they claim it doesn't have any flavourings according to the ingredients. Um, and, and they are absolutely right. It's eco-pure. The menthol has menthol and, and something to dissolve the menthol before it goes in there. But I can tell you for a certain fact, ain't no flavour in here. And to check it out, I mixed up some pure glycerin with some nicotine yesterday tried it out identical it's exactly what it says on the tin and th th there's a reason for that and if you think about it it's obvious bat is well and truly under scrutiny by the powers that be they've been accused probably rightly like most of the big tobacco companies over the last 30 years they've been accused of telling party pies not once not twice but a great many times and they know they've got to clean their act up. And I've, I've gone through this with a fine tooth comb. There are no claims in any of this that they cannot substantiate. And they wouldn't dare put juice in there that they know is going to be syringed out and put through uh, a GCMS machine. It is exactly what they say. It's definitely equal pure. I, that's it's a cast iron guarantee. They cannot afford to make, how can I put this delicately? They can't afford to make an arse of this. They've got to get this right. If they if they told party pies about e cigs as well as fags, that would be the end of it, wouldn't it? This all, no, it's right. What they say is right. Back to you, Sav. Right, Lacey Vapor has said, it's owned by a tobacco company and designed to fail. Mm. Leanna Lawler has said, it's designed to keep people smoking by cutting down by two a day. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got to go to camera one. Watch. Go on. I have nothing. <laughs> it's dead. So you started that the same time as I did? I it? did, yes. I started it bang on nine, well, almost bang on nine o'clock when we started the show. It is now 9.51 and... Well, we'll say it was 9.51 because it's a minute since I realised it's gone. It's dead. In an hour, you've watched it live. Killed it. In an hour. Sorry, Sav. Back to you. Matt CLK has said, well, I swore I would never buy one, but I might have to eat my words. He wants the box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask what he's going to put in it because I don't think you can roll condoms up that thin. <laughs> Blazer said this has made me get out my Jack Vapor starter kit it's still holding a charge two months later and the quality is quite nice mm -hmm. regarding the battery chat we're not impressed no it's, it's not I don't think it's meant to be impressive I think it's meant to be the size of a cigarette mm. and that's the problem 
Yeah. Uh, Lamental has said they want people to throw them away and buy more or even buy cigarettes instead. Yeah. Joseph K has said they look like a good gateway to vaping to me. Mm -hmm. Very boring has says it wouldn't have attracted me as I was using backy and was used to quality flavoured backy like cherry or vanilla. So the lack of flavour would have repelled me. Regarding the price point, Ed West has said three for seven pounds would be reasonable. Yeah. Mark Shaw has said exactly Dave, I don't know what it was exactly Dave too, but he said exactly Dave, they are no great shakes, but as you said for a pound, what can you expect? Now I know. Good now. Um, That's Joseph German K for exactly. <laughs> Joseph Kay has also said, so would it be fair to say the vape simply can't compare to vape gear? It's overpriced, but a good addition to the market. Um, I, yeah, look, like any disposable, like any disposable, I... I'm absolutely certain that they're not marketed at people that have got Zamaxes and no, anything no, like that. No. Anybody that's moved on, <coughs> anybody that's got the egos and has moved on, they're not for you. They're not intended for you. I think they're a recruiting device. Um, whether that's a recruitment from smoking to vaping or whether it's a recruitment into vaping from nowhere, I actually... I don't have a problem with that as long as you're over 18. I just don't um, because we know nicotine's no worse for you than caffeine and there's studies out there to show that. So either way on, it's a recruitment device in my eyes. It's not meant for people like me, for people like Keith, Dave, Sav, Mark, Kat. Any, it's, it's not really meant for anybody watching this show, I don't think, because the majority of people watching this are <coughs> egotists. And, and beyond. Sorry, Sav. Not a problem. Uh, Liam D. Vapor has said, a lot of people try them, then go to forums, but I agree, maybe not as many, and a lot just give up on the idea. Mark Shaw has said, it'd be hard to stick with it, but there may be enough to spark someone's interest in getting something better. Mm -hmm. Disco Des Wilkinson has said, we need to tell BAT, no red LED. Um. Vapor Again, just to jump in on that one, I, I have heard, <clears throat> and this is with my own ears, and, and actually in front of me, people saying, I want a red light on it. Don't give us the blue one, I'll look stupid. You've you kind of <coughs> got to go back to where you were. Have you heard anything like that, Dave? I have, yeah. It's people just making that switch, and they, they, don't want, they feel like they're going to stand out. Yes. If they're using something that looks different and they feel self-conscious and all that. Yeah. Mark? So they just want to stand what? it and, you know, join the crowd still. Yeah. Go what on. about the cynical approach? What about, you know, it's BAT. What about people who've never smoked? They've read all about the dangers of smoking. Yes. With a careful advertising campaign, they're attracted to these. Uh-huh. And people might go from these to proper cigarettes. I don't think they would. Well, I don't think that. No, I don't. But it could be a ploy. Is all I'm saying. I, I, if I don't, well, let's let's say that, that that it is a ploy. It's one that is going to fail, because I think if somebody was to start with an e-cig, the first time they tried a fag, they'd vomit, and they'd be straight back to their e-cig. I'm no. absolutely convinced of that. And the, the reason I'm convinced of that is quite clear. When my mum came out of hospital and she'd been told she was on her way out, her first thing when she got home, because she'd been on e for over a year, her first thing was, give us a proper tab. Right. And I said, in, in solidarity, you know, I yeah. said, I'll have one with your mother. And I vomited. Right. And I used to smoke 60 a day. And I'd been on e-cigs for two years. And I retched my ring, for want of a better phrase. I retched my ring. And you, you, you just, no, I don't think it would work. Well, except in the scenario you've just painted, there's a difference between somebody who's never smoked at all, then being attracted to real tobacco, to you, who was a former 60 a day man. I, I think the likelihood of being attracted to, back, to tobacco when all of the information that you've got about e-cigs tells you that nicotine 
on its own, cleanly delivered, is harmless, and that's pretty much the situation, that the rest of the excipients that are in there are pretty much harmless because that is the situation. Why then would anybody consciously make an effort to go and try something which, and bearing in mind I was a 60 a day man, they taste foul. Honestly, it's like licking a cow's ass going back to a fag after you've used an e-seek. Mark, I'm going to come to you. Would you agree with what I've just said? Yes, completely. Um, I think if anybody tried one of these first before going to cigarettes, if they had a cigarette afterwards, they'd be straight back to this. I wouldn't want a cigarette. Eh? Yeah, right. Dev? Yeah, completely agree with that. Yeah. After it's using fair. this, I want to go back to tobacco. Well, exactly right. Exactly right. We'll throw it back to Sav for more from chat. Right, well, we're rapidly running out of time, so I'll grab as much as I can. Anne-Marie Jeffrey said, You've made me dig out my Nicolites, and you are totally right. The smoke and habit came flooding back, and it's easy to get back into these habits. It feels wrong, and from vaping an e-cig, it's an awful flavour, in my opinion. But I can see it being a first transition from proper cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vaping Daz has said one thing about the vape though is it's a lot lighter and a, than a lot of the others he's looked at. Cerulean C has said another good point people are never going to approach a user of one of these in the streets and ask what it is. Steve37 UK said all helps for 2016, but to be honest, the market's grown so fast everybody will be looking at mods by this time. Hopefully. Gary has said, Gary Dibley has said, to be fair, when I started vaping it was a 901. It leaked like a very leaky thing, <laughs> but <laughs> I see this type of V-Sig as the current day disposable 901. Most 901 users moved on with very little info back in the day. A quick search and folks find alternatives very easily. Mm -hmm. Joseph K said, my sister wouldn't touch my SVD and Pro Tank, but she'd go for a cigar like. I reckon give her a month on those and she'll change. Yep. They have a place and a use, surely. Uh -huh. Blaze says, working out um, the maths, 20 a day of those would be the equivalent of £51,000 a year. <laughs> oh, Jesus God. And the final word from chat tonight is going to Midge Dog, and he says, cigarettes perpetuate the smoker's norm, in his opinion. I prefer and did from day one of vaping to have something as different to cigarettes as possible, but I think it's personal preference. And I, I think yes. that is exactly right. It's down to what the individual wants um i hope it's it's put everything in context um i i need to say a big thank you to mark to dave to keith and to sav and to you in chat and and kat who i assume has been flinging stuff at you yeah. yes that comes as no surprise it'll have been a busy night tonight and thank you for keeping us busy thank you for <coughs> being there thank you for watching we appreciate it we really really do now i'm shooting off out of the country tomorrow for three and a half weeks i'm going to go where the sun shines brightly i'm going where the sea is blue i've seen it in the movies i want to see if it's true <coughs> apparently there's a limit on how much booze you can drink a day it's around about 30 liters i'm going to test that out while i'm over there i might shoot a little bit of footage on the other hand i might not we'll have to wait and see so i'll see you in a month's time yes yes in the meantime, I'm going to leave you, leave, leave, you, leave you in the capable hands of the rest of the team who I know are going to do a fantastic job. But I want you all to do me a favour. And it's an enjoyable one. And we're going to end on it. Would you please all go to Vapefest and have a pint for me? And I'll see you in a month. Thanks everybody for coming and doing the show. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. <laughs>